Hey there, welcome to Season 2, Episode 27. My name is Chris Abraham, and I am in a sound cave uh, surrounded by heavy traffic. So, if this is appalling, please forgive me. I think actually where I'm sitting exacerbates the issue. Which I think is entirely funny. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce the episode and then I'm going to move to a quieter place and record a little bit down the road. Uh, my name is Chris Abraham. This is Chris Cast. I believe it is episode 27. I am a dude, just a dude, who uh, is 51, so I'm a Gen X dude. And uh, it is episode 27, season 2, episode 27. And the topic of today's episode is uh, slender and healthy people treat food like medicine, they don't eat meals they take dosage they take dosage doses of food they tr- surrounded by diesel trucks they uh they only select the foods that they need to give them energy they consider those things uh and then when their dose is complete they tend to either underdose or dose appropriately or skip their dose. So those are the three things that normal eaters do. They either forget their dose, they underdose, or they dose correctly. Whereas I believe that if you reconsider obesity as a, a, a type of overdosing, it'll make a lot more sense to me and to you. Uh, I consider meals to be a spiritual, familial, experiential, uh, cultural thing. And that doesn't seem to be the way uh, healthy eaters, slender people, or people don't even, who don't even, who eat the wrong things, but they tend to eat the wrong things according to how they are prescribed. So if you look on the back of a box, you will see the dosage. One serving equals. Uh, One serving is generally half or a third of what you and I might think a bowl of cereal with milk is, etc., etc., etc. However, um, I've seen it in real life. I've seen it amongst people who are lieutenant colonel retired, um, who are, you know, they'll be like, let's go out and eat a lot of... uh, go out and eat a lot of crab at the crab shack but they won't eat a lot of crab they'll eat they'll eat a lot they'll make a big mound of shells but they will eat a modicum amount of crab and uh, that particular guy uh, in terms of the dosage thing his problem with dosage and overdosing is with regards to uh, beer wine and alcohol right so it really does come down to dose and I think that if you treat uh, food, if you're having a problem struggling with obesity, struggling with overeating, struggling with morbid obesity, uh, have a problem with type 2 diabetes, have a problem with fatty liver, have a problem with heart disease, um, are uh, pre-diabetic, etc., I think that you should treat your eating routine in the same way that you treat your rigorous medicine routine, you know? If you're a compliant person, you take your medicines in the morning, you take your medicines in the evening, you make sure that you have a bite of food with the medicines that require it, you make sure that you drink a lot of water with it, you make sure that when you travel, you bring uh, your pills with you, and then if you're even a little bit more Virgo or a little bit more... uh, um, I guess anal you have or if you're forgetful or if you're aging or if your medicines are complicated then you certainly um, do have uh, packets pill boxes etc I think that 
if you talk to healthy people, they do exactly that sort of thing. In fact, the ones that are intentionally healthy, like nutritionists and fitness models and people who are uh, who are pursuing, who, whose number one focus is beauty, health, uh, longevity, etc., you will realize that they start to uh, package their food like medicine, right? So they uh, bulk bulk cook on Sunday, and then they prepackage their meals in dosages for the rest of the week, right? A dose of brown rice, a dose of a dose of, uh, of broccoli, a dose of chicken. Uh, a dose of side salad, uh, a dose of vinegar, of, of cider vinegar, and a dose of olive oil with a uh, dose of salt and pepper to taste. And then that's what they do. They make sure that the dosage is appropriate for their health pursuit. They make sure that they do something called macronutrients, which is if you uh, think about the old apocary, apocary, apo, is that right? Apoth apothecary, apoth. What is that word? If you think about the old world of pharmacy, uh, pharmacists used to uh, make their own dosages by adding uh, the component parts. Of a of the of the medicine, and that is, I think it's apothecary, yeah, apothecary. Um, and that is exactly what people are doing when they pursue macronutrients, right? They want a certain amount of protein, a certain amount of fat, and a certain amount of carbohydrates, and then they consider things like niacin potassium, calcium, vitamin C, different types of amino acids, etc., 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 etc. When you meet someone who's an extreme nutritionist, extreme uh, gym rat, you will quickly realize that they have everything broken down and they are their own personal apothecarist, apotha, their own personal pharmacist, and their food is not necessarily a pleasure vehicle, but is it is an essential part of the food medicine that they are intaking into their body every day. So I don't know if I need a second part of this issue of this episode. I'm just sorry about the background noise. We'll see how this uh, does in terms of doing a good job of filtering anything out, but... Um, in fact, I was listening, I was watching too much TikTok this morning, and I was watching, uh, they were talking about, um, what is it called? They were talking about, uh, food, food, uh, disorders, and they were talking about eating disorders, and they were talking about how, um, bodybuilders have two things that they do. They, they have a, a bulking season and they have a reducing season and they defined the reducing season as just not eating and they define the bulking season as you have to stuff yourself until you're completely full and then eat more so um they treat bodybuilders treat all food in the same way that they treat you know i don't know if you guys were in high schools that were like this but i was in a sports supremely sporty school and everybody was always talking about supplements protein powder what type of aminos you were getting uh etc 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 well they've taken it further and they have added cider vinegar and um broccoli and brown rice and chicken and steak and all these other things spinach etc as a way of um pre-training and post-training, recovery, bulking, and and um, and uh, reducing, cutting as they call it. Anyway, that was my insight into this. Uh, I think I have another uh, episode that I want to talk about food, but um, 
I will talk to you soon. I hope you're having a delightful day. And um, uh, please let me know in the notes or via email uh, whether it's too loud, etc. I'm going to come back after this break and um, I'll give you all my contact info. This is Chris Cass, Season 2, Episode 27. Thank you for listening to my blah, blah, blah with all the amplified car noises. Um, That's how I do today. I was going to read it to you or speak it to you or podcast to you in my Penrose Square Park, but there was literally a guy there who was uh, using a blower to blow out all the... um, uh, all the leaves that have started falling down in the park from over the weekend and I allowed him his Sisyphusian task mostly because I know that a blower blows loudly but I don't know if it blows loudly as these diesel trucks and buses that are passing so je ne sais pas c'est pas c'est pas papa all right so my name is Chris Abraham. You can reach me at plus one two zero two three five two five zero five one. I've re-added Snapchat, so you can reach me that way at Abraham Chris J. I don't know how to use it. I've never used it, but it seems like people are messaging that way. Uh, plus one two zero two three five two five zero five one will also get a phone call to me or a text or a signal or a WhatsApp or a Telegram. Um, but I will not answer phone calls unless I recognize them and if you text me with just hey, I'll just assume that you're some weird Indian uh, text spammer because that's what they say hey, or like whoever that is, right, who's trying to get me to join their OnlyFans or whatever so say hello Chris I'm a fan of your podcast or something like that if you want to talk to me you can it's at calendly calendly calendly.com slash Chris Abraham and uh, my email is chris at abraham.su my website is at chrisabraham.com my facebook is at chrisabraham chris uh, facebook slash chris abraham um is it fb.me slash Chris Abraham, whatever. Twitter is at Chris Abraham. Instagram is at Chris Abraham. Uh, Google, YouTube is at Chris Abraham. YouTube.com slash Chris Abraham. And uh, what else? I am on TikTok. And on TikTok, I am at um, Christopher Abraham, I believe. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the podcast. Uh, the home base for the podcast is a- anchor.fm slash Chris Abraham. And if you want to support me, it's anchor.fm slash Chris Abraham slash support. You can find me on all platforms and all apps. And if you would be so kind to review, comment, give me stars, uh, etc., I would really appreciate it. And I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind negative reviews because, like, nobody, like, 19 people listen to this podcast. So, I would even take negative attention because I'm the child of alcoholics. Love you guys. Aloha, mahalo, merci beaucoup, um, donc fuvel, uh, donc zère, and um, gracias, muchas gracias, uh, merci beaucoup, and uh, ciao for now.